That's right, Ben. It was a beautiful midwinter day here at the beach in Hampton today. But look, you can see some of the rocks and other debris that washed up into this parking lot along the beach earlier this week. And now officials here are warning people to get ready to do it all over again. Public works crews on the New Hampshire seacoast raced to patch storm drains damaged by the last storm and prepositioned signs along roads they plan to close again when the next storm hits. It was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen it. That, you know, that much. This man says a berm that protects Route 1A along the coast in Rye, New Hampshire, was completely washed away on Wednesday, then rebuilt in less than two days. But it was just completely mowed over. So they had the dozers on both sides just rebuilding it. I would say the water was up in this, this area here. The public works director in Seabrook, New Hampshire, predicts similar flooding again this weekend, especially in one part of town. When you look in this direction here, you see those houses on the skyline, that's Cross Beach Road. And Cross Beach Road uh, frequently is underwater. Federal forecasters predict tomorrow's noon high tide at Hampton Beach will be slightly higher than the one on Wednesday, about two and a half feet above flood stage. Along the coast of Maine, they're also expecting more flooding, including in New Harbor, where some houses were washed away in the last storm. The owners of this summer home are from Massachusetts. And so all we can do is board it up and hope for the best and hope the roof holds because there is some damage to the roof and I think that's, uh, that's scary to me. Late today, Hampton police said that they will be closing all of the roads that lead to the beach at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. They'll stay closed until the water recedes. There are no evacuation orders at this point, but they are urging people who live in low-lying areas to consider relocating to higher ground. Live at Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, David Beating, WCVB News Center 5.